The recorded arrival of the Chinese to Britain dates back to 1681. The impact of this first Chinese visitor was so great that King James II commissioned a painting of him. Imports from China began to influence British cultural tastes and a fad for all things Chinese became known as chinoiserie and lasted over a hundred years. By 1800, there were up to 500 Chinese sailors in London at any given time. They were transient, working the ships that sailed to and from the east. 1805 saw the first Chinese person become a British citizen. At this time, China was resisting calls to trade freely. British traders wanted silk, porcelain, and most importantly, tea. But what to sell to the Chinese? The solution was devastating for China. Britain fought two wars to force China to accept opium. Although Britain's success in the Opium Wars led to increased contact with China, the Chinese population remained very, very small. By 1914, there were some 30 Chinese businesses in London's Limehouse area, now known as Chinatown. But attitudes towards the Chinese had turned. From fashion setters, they became almost universally suspected of being lawless opium addicts who were unkempt and dirty, while British workers denounced cheap Chinese labor. Britain recruited 96,000 Chinese laborers to work on the Western Front during the First World War. Over 2,000 died in service. Nonetheless, the Aliens Restriction Act was extended in 1917 so Chinese people could not settle in Britain. By the late 20s, the Chinese are almost exclusively in the laundry business, but Chinatowns are dying due to immigration restrictions. During World War II, 20,000 Chinese sailors crew transatlantic convoys and a number decorated for gallantry. London and Liverpool's Chinatowns were destroyed by bombing during the war, and laundry businesses declined as high street laundrettes were introduced. The seamen's unions changed their rules, making it harder for non-British sailors to find work at British ports. But a new business sector emerged, catering, as returning servicemen from the East created a market for Chinese food. Immigration policy also changed, and overseas workers were welcomed to the UK. From these opportunities, a new Chinatown arose in Soho. By 1971, there are 96,000 Chinese in Britain, with a quarter being British-born. They are joined by thousands of ethnic Chinese expelled from Vietnam in the 1980s. In 1999, statistics show the Chinese are the highest earning, best educated people in Britain with the lowest levels of unemployment. Success is a magnet to others, but some pay the ultimate price as the bodies of 58 Chinese are discovered in a lorry arriving in Dover in June 2000. In 2002, Michael Chan becomes the first Chinese lord, while research by the Restaurant Association finds Chinese food is the nation's favorite. Today, the Chinese continue to arrive as students, visitors and workers, seeking new opportunities and the chance to improve their lives. But this is not a one-way street for the Chinese have had a profound and lasting effect upon British society.